could be simple sunboats. An important symbol in ancient Egypt, the first known drawings of these boats were found in El Cab. Whoever made them could be the first Egyptians. But how do you talk to someone who's been dead for thousands of years? How are you doing? Hey, not too bad. How'd you get on this El Cab? It was fantastic. Dirk showed me some incredible rock art. It's the very same images that we saw in the pyramid text. There's boats with solar significance. There's those malicious donkeys that we <laughs> saw before. It's the same ideas, but it's just a very early stage. So how far back are we talking? Oh, it's about 6,000 years ago. Blimey. That's really pushing back the frontiers of settlement in the valley, isn't it? Yeah, but the problem is that we don't have the archaeology to go with it. So we know very little about the people that created it. I was thinking about that other place that's mentioned in the pyramid text, the twin town of El Cab. That's an amazing site. The trail is leading to Hierakonpolis, across the river from El Cab. Here, the mystery is about to deepen. The clues aren't carvings of sunboats or giraffes, but something altogether different, something astonishing. Digs here have made groundbreaking discoveries, finds that are as old as those across the river at El Cab, finds that may point to the artists behind the work. Renee Friedman is in charge of the site. She's one of a small handful of people who's trying to learn who the first Egyptians really were. What could be uncovered about the people behind the glories of ancient Egypt? Did the pyramids, mummies, and golden idols we've come to know as Egypt get their start here? The Egypt detectives meet Renee Friedman. She's found clues that may help solve their case once and for all. Artifacts that might have been models for those found later in the Great Pyramids. The most amazing find is one of the earliest examples ever found of a burial mask. What secrets can this mask reveal? Where did the glories of ancient Egypt come from? Solving that mystery has led the Egypt detectives to the shores of the Nile and to Renee Friedman. She has an astonishing clue, this ancient burial mask. This is made out of fired clay and you know, it fits, wow. it works. <laughs> um, it was tied behind the ears, there's little holes, and there's even a little divot for the chin. So